problem there. Hi guys, I'm James McIntosh and today I'm joined with Gosport's latest sign-in, Rafa Ramos. Rafa, welcome to the club. How does it feel to have joined? Yeah, hello mate. Yeah, it feels very good. I'm still overwhelmed about it and it's something that I've been working for for a while as well. And to finally get offered a contract after a few weeks of training is it's a great feeling. Well, Rafa, with most light players, I normally give them a bit of an introduction. But with you, I don't think you really need an introduction after Friday. Can you just tell us what it was like to score against Pompey in a sold-out crowd at Privet Park? What a way to get started. Yeah, no, it was a great feeling, like, playing in front of 2,000-plus fans is just crazy. I don't think I've ever played in front of that many fans. And to be in the starting eleven was even better. And to give Gosport the lead as well was just a crazy feeling. So I'm buzzing for it as well. Well, Rafa, I think you've played in this league quite a bit because I think you were with Hamsworthy last season. But can you just give us a brief overview of your career? Yeah, yeah I was with Hamsworthy for a bit. I started with Bashley, but previously I I was at Shawling for a bit, and then got injured a couple couple of years back, and then. Recovered from that, I went to Blackfield, Blackfield, Blackfield and Langley on loan. Had a very good season there. And then after that, joined AFC Portchester. Carried on my goal scoring record and finished the season with 31 goals or 34 goals that season. Wow. wow. And then yeah. from that, I had an approach from Bashley and then joined Bashley and then just went on from there. But I just, I'm just a natural goal scorer. And then, yeah, it's, it's a, it's, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, because last season, I think you did quite well. You obviously got loads of goals, but I think you were playing in a lower league. So do you think it'd be quite easy to adapt to the Southern League? Because we're already in pre-season. You've got a goal in each of your matches so far. So do you think you'll find it quite easy to adapt to this new league? Yeah, I feel like I'll adapt quite well because wherever I've been, I've proven that I can score goals and it's just in me. And then last season, I started with Bashley as well. Started really well with scoring goals. And then... Join Hamworthy, a few things happened outside of football. So my mind wasn't probably on it as much, but I still managed to get 16 goals by the end of the season, which wasn't too bad. Uh, and yeah, I, feel, I, feel, I don't think it'll be a problem. I think I've seen it quite well into the gospel team as well. The way that Pat and Joe are trying to do things suits me a lot. So I've what, played two friendly scored two. So only, hopefully it's just only up from here as well. Well, I was actually looking a bit about your stats when you were actually joining, so for the other teams, and I think I read a report that it said that you were six foot and f yeah, six foot tall or something, and that's massive, yeah. like I think I'm only about five foot something, but yeah, so obviously you're quite a big bloke, and then I noticed in the Pompey game you were quite, you know, good at your mental strength, so you were like, you know, quite physical in that sense, so would you yeah, say this yeah. is quite a big part of your game? Yeah, yeah, it's because nowadays, because I'm six foot four, six foot four. Oh, wow. I know, yeah, I know. And I don't think that, like, and that's a good thing about me because I'm a tall guy and then people don't expect me to be quick. And that's a, an advantage that I have to my game that I'm tall, big, and I can move quite quick, which is a big part of my game as well. So, yeah, uh, it's, it's a good thing, I, I believe. Well, to be completely honest, I think you've got the perfect physique, really, for playing football. Because, you know, Cristiano Ronaldo, he's a bit similar. He kind of uses his muscles to, like, his advantage. So do you kind of take experience from that? Because you're Portuguese as well. Yeah, I'm Portuguese. There's a couple of players that I kind of learn from or I prefer. But, yeah, I look at Ronaldo a lot. Of course, he's a big player and quite strong as well and very quick. And it's not, you don't get as much many players that are six foot two plus that can move it around quite quick and stuff. And uh, lately I've been looking at Isaac from Newcastle, if you look at oh, it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's quite tall and quick and with like you don't get many players like that that are tall, quick and got good feet. So I think that's a big advantage to my game. So other than this, what do you think else you can add to this Gosport team, along with goals as well? Uh, I feel like I'll bring a good environment in, into the changing room because I'm a funny guy. I like to bring band into the changing rooms or wherever I go. So I feel like it'll be good. And I'm just here to kind of help the team get to where they want to be. And they will, they need a goal scorer. And I feel like I can, I can do that for gospel. And yeah, I'm looking forward to getting started as well, to be fair. 
And what was it about Gosport that really brought you to the club? What was it that made you say, I want to play for Gosport next season? Yeah, I've heard, I've heard about Gosport for a few years back now. And this is a league that I've always wanted to be in. And yeah, I've been working, working hard for it as well. And then to finally get the chance. Uh, and then I heard uh, at the end of the season that Pat and Joe were coming here. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to message Pat and try and get involved in the in pre-season and see what's what. And then uh, luckily it worked out very well for me. And then I feel like Gospel is a team that's moving forward and in the right, direct, right direction as well. And I feel like to be able to help the team achieve that and get to where they want to be, is, is, it's, it's, it's amazing. So speaking about that, really, what are both your ambitions for both yourself and for the team this season? For my, for, on a personal level, I feel just to score goals. My goal this season is to score. Tw- I'll say I can. I believe I can score twenty goals this season. That's Ooh, my plan. Man. And for Gosport, I'm just I really just trying to. I spoke to a few of the players and the management team. Is just trying to get uh, have a better season than last season. And I feel like with the team that we've got so far. I feel like we can push for playoffs or even get promoted. So that's the plan to try and get the team to the playoff positions. Well, Rafa, it all sounds brilliant and great to have you on board. But with my last guest, Alex, obviously he comes from the Czech Republic and we got him to say up the borough as it's kind of like our little catchphrase. But can you say up the borough in Portuguese for us? Vamos lá, Boro! Oh, Slava's for it is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Vamos, 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 vamos. <laughs>